Real Agriculture comes to you today from the Southwest Agricultural Conference where we're joined by Horace Bonner, soybean specialist for OMAFRA here in Ontario. And uh, in your presentation today, Horace, you mentioned that this a provincial average for soybeans this year was 45 bushels, which really is amazing considering the year. Given that, and all we, we endured this year, what, what's the, what is the potential yield for soybeans in Ontario? Yeah, well, thanks for the invitation. You know, it's a very interesting question. You'd think that'd be easy to answer, but for Ontario, it's actually harder than you might think. We know certainly that in the States, we've had yields over 150 bushels. In Ontario, I suspect the we've had trials over 90 bushels in small plot, but it takes a tremendous amount of effort to do that. I suspect probably realistically, uh, considering where we are in terms of latitude and longitude, we can probably only 110 is my guess, uh, if I had to make a guess in terms of theoretical top. Right. Now you uh, talked about today about what you're learning about late season, season growth in soybeans and where the yield is. Tell us a little bit about you know longer soybeans and potentially managing uh, soybeans later in the year for mm -hmm. higher yields. Right. So really what I was trying to get at there is the fact that soybeans um, are different than corn in a lot of ways. And the most of the yield is really put on in the second half of the growing season, right? Mm -hmm. So then the question becomes, how do you manipulate the second half of the growing season? And what we're trying to do by growing these longer day beans, really we're trying to maximize the growing season, right? Because it's just a little factory. What you're trying to do is capture sunlight, use the nutrients in the soil. It's just a little factory. And the longer the factory runs, the more seeds you're gonna get. So that's why we're talking about these longer day beans. And that's why we, part of the reason why we get more yield by planting early, and part of the reason why we get more yield by seeding a longer day bean is because we're stretching out the growing season in both directions. Right, so what, <clears throat> Given that, what should farmers be thinking about seed selection um, right. as, we, as, as we head into the new year? Yeah, so the first thing um, it, that we have available to us in Ontario is um, the public performance trials. So if a grower was to, to visit gosoy.ca on the web, you could look up the registered varieties today available to us. And it's a, it's a quick shot on how um, varieties perform compared to each other. So that's the first thing, right? You have to choose a variety that's high yielding because if it's not high yielding in those trials, mm -hmm. chances are it's not gonna do that well for you on your farm. And the second thing is you really have to think about the pest pressure and the cyst pressure um, in a field to try and choose varieties that are resistant to whatever issues you've got. So there's a fair bit to think about. Certainly we would say variety selection is one of the most important things you can do. Thank you.